light switches and light bulb. That's what we're talking about today. Which one is better for you? And in which situations do they work best in? Today we're talking about light switches and light bulbs. This would be the third video in this ultimate guide to building a smart home. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click the link and you'll watch which order you should be purchasing devices in. This is the deep dive into light switches and light bulbs. I'm combining the two of them since they kind of go hand in hand with each other. If you haven't seen the prior video on voice assistance, the most powerful tool in your smart home, then go ahead and check that video out as well. I'll link it below. Let's first start with some basics. I want to start talking about light switches first. Now, light switches come in a variety of options. You have general style light switches with on and off functionality, as well as dimmer functionality. I tend to lead towards dimmer switches. I like really bright lights in my house, and sometimes I don't want them as bright, but I, in the wintertime here in Alaska, it's super dark. So we need the ability to have brighter lights inside our house. So having that dimmering functionality is super beneficial for whenever you don't need the lights as bright, but you still need their functionality. Installing a smart switch tends to be a little bit more complex due to the fact that it involves some basic knowledge of wiring. Generally involves turning off your power at your breaker switch, as well as if you're a renter, you can't always just be yanking out light switches and putting in new ones. What's really great about light switches is their ability to control multiple lights from one switch. You can control multiple lights with one single switch instead of having to replace multiple lights. This can be a huge cost saver when one light switch only costs you about $20 up to $40, depending on the one you're purchasing versus light bulbs that can be 10 to $20 each. The other huge benefit to smart switches is it minimizes the amount of devices you're having to put on your network. As I mentioned, if you had four lights in your room, all of them would have to be changed to light bulbs or whatever their style is. They might be a can style light. And so what you'd have to do is connect four new devices to your network. With smart homes, we already put a huge burden on our home network by having so many devices. So we want to minimize the amount of devices on the network where we can. The other major benefit that I love about smart switches is they function like a normal light switch to anybody that's not native to your home and understanding how your smart home works. For instance, if you have guests or company over, then there are situations where somebody might need to utilize that light switch. And if you have a smart light bulb in it and they turn off the switch, in a lot of cases, that bulb is no longer going to function until the power is restored through the light switch. With a smart light switch, you're able to press and use it and the company will know how to utilize it and you're never gonna remove the power or capability from that switch. Now, which one is right for you? A switch or a bulb? It's really hard to say and every situation is different. If you have a room that's multiple lights, chances are it's going to be better to go with a smart switch. If you have a place like over a kitchen island where you have two bulbs, those pendant styles, it might be better to go with light bulbs. But here's the catch sometimes. In some situations, you've seen pendant lights that don't have an actual bulb. In those cases, you're obviously going to need to go with a switch. The other cool situation is can lights. Can lights generally are going to need a switch, but you could also fork over the little bit of extra cash to be able to go buy addressable RGB style can lights. I'll link some of those below that I've seen in the past. I've never actually gone ahead and purchased them because again, I've got multiple can lights in most situations. There's only very few situations where I have a single can light on a single switch. And even in those situations, I'd still prefer a light switch over the, over the can light or bulb style. Hey everyone, it's Ian with Intello Homes here. I hope you're enjoying the video. I just wanted to take a quick moment and ask you to hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying this video or if you haven't subscribed yet and you're enjoying this content and you wanna learn more about smart homes, then this is the right place for you and I'd love it if you'd subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much. We'll get back to the video now. 
Other situations where a bulb still just might make more sense is when you want to have the capability to change its colors. For instance, on my exterior of my home, I have four lights that are on one switch. I like to be able to change the temperature of those bulbs from warm to cool, depending on how dark it is outside. Whenever the sun first starts setting, I'll usually have on the cool lights so they're a bit brighter. And then whenever I go to bed, those lights will change to a warm setting so that they're not blinding my neighbors in the middle of the night. What's really awesome is I'm currently working on an automation so that when my exterior cameras notice motion, that those lights will actually turn up their brightness to a cool setting to be able to give more light to the cameras to help them see people or see whatever might have happened. After that motion goes away, the lights will then return back to their previous setting. The big thing to keep in mind is that you're going to need to purchase one bulb for every light that you have if you're going to go the bulb route. Overall, smart switches are going to be a little bit more convenient over bulbs. But in the end, you're going to still have more functionality with the bulbs over the smart switches. Now, there's a few things I didn't cover in the video that I just want to provide somewhat as a disclaimer. Keep in mind, whenever you're purchasing bulbs or switches, that there are situations that not all of them are compatible with every type of voice assistant out there. If you watched my voice assistant video, you remember I talked about how not all products work with HomePod. So whenever you're going to purchase something, you always want to look on the box. Generally on the side, it's going to show you what it works with. The other style of light switch that I didn't cover because it's very unique situations that this happens is for fans and light combos. In my house, I have two areas where I have three bulbs and a fan light or a fan on the same switch. There is a company out there that offers a dual fan and light combo switch all in one. If you have a situation where you have a fan and a light and they operate on separate switches, either a regular on off switch will work for the fan, or you would probably want to go with a dimming one. What you then do is set your fan to the highest setting. And whenever you dim the bulb down, in this case, the fan down, it's actually going to lower the speed of your fan. I'll link the switch that I currently use down in the description below. They tend to be a little bit more expensive. You're getting two functionalities all in one switch, but it's definitely worth it to be able to control both of those switches. Now, if you're interested for one of the best switches on the market that I personally use that I have developed, I'll link down below where you can get one of these. I also still have one that I'd like to give away. It's sitting on my shelf up here. If we can get to 500 subscribers on YouTube, then I'm going to randomly select one of my subscribers to go ahead and give that switch away. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. This was a fairly quick one. Light bulbs and light switches are really simple, and they're almost always the first product that people tend to purchase whenever they're starting a smart home. Aside from their voice assistant. Smart lighting solutions are always the first thing that we're working towards to try and improve in our life because everybody seems to forget to turn off lights or our kids are leaving on our lights. Smart lighting is a great way to have a little bit of fun and save some money along the way. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. It always helps. I'd love to know what your favorite thing is about your smart home. Go ahead and comment down below. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.